raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, Happy New Year. We are back and we are ready to give you some great content. You know, this year we have some great things planned for you and we want to kick it off with six bourbon brands that you probably have seen and you're like, well, what is that? But these are some bourbons that you have to check out. Not too expensive, but good bourbon. But before we get started, we want to just say very quickly, thank you. We, in our last video, had around 2,300 subscribers, and now we are this close to 2,500 subscribers. Wow, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, Brandy, my birthday is at the end of the month. Yeah. It would be great if we can get 3,000 subscribers by the end of the month. You know? About 3,100. His hey. birthday's on the 31st, uh -huh. so, you know. I like that. 3100 <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so, in order for us to, you know, meet that, mm -hmm. of course, you have to like our video and subscribe if you haven't already. That's right. That's right. And in addition to that, while we're telling you about some uh, bourbon brands that we feel may not be as well known, Tell us in the comments. Tell us about some brands that we should check out so that maybe we can do another review on it and uh, we can go from there. But, all right, Brandy, I am ready. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so starting us off tonight, mm -hmm. we have Doc Swinson. <laughs> <laughs> I was struggling with that. <laughs> Chase has been she, quizzing me. She looked at me like, is that it? Right. <laughs> like, thumbs up, right? right. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. So anyways, <clears throat> this is our first bottle. <laughs> it's distilled in Indiana by mm -hmm. MGP, but based out of Washington. Mm-hmm. And um, the mash bill, unfortunately, is unknown, so I can't uh, give you that information. However, the price of this bottle is around $50, um, but it also just depends on your location and what kind of bottle that you actually purchase, if it's a store pick or, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's various expressions, including a straight bourbon, 15-year bourbon, and different finished bourbons within this bourbon yeah and it is a five-year bourbon yep that one is five years mm -hmm. the proof is 115 mm -hmm. um and so yeah it's a, it's a good bottle yeah that's yeah. as you can see <laughs> <laughs> good stuff yep no doc swinson is very good um would highly recommend all right <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, the first one I have is Copper and Cask. This is something that we had just been introduced to and have really enjoyed so far. It is a source bourbon. So, they source their bourbon from MGP. So, MGP again. Yeah. Um, but what I like about it, it's good, first and foremost, uh, is their transparency. So, this specific one is a five-year bourbon at 116 proof the mash bill is on the back it's a 70 percent corn 21 percent rye and nine percent malted barley and what i'm finding is i'm starting to really like the higher corn mash bills um but the price you're saying forty dollars forty dollars for a five-year barrel proof or higher proof bourbon 116 proof can't beat it nope not at all and now that i know i we enjoy the uh bourbon they have a rye 
another source from MGP Rye 95.5 mash bill barrel proof for $55 so if the rye is anything like the bourbon it's good too <laughs> <laughs> but yeah copper and cask is definitely if you one of those uh, brands that if you see it in a store pick it up all right all right so next I have 18th Street distillery mm-hmm good stuff as y'all know it was number 10 in our list from last year yep. and um, so it's distilled in Indiana um, the master distiller is Drew Fox mm -hmm. I believe this is also this is a three-year bourbon yeah um, the proof is 125.6 okay <laughs> so it's a high <laughs> proof bourbon um, the mash <clears throat> bill the actual Percentage is unknown, mm -hmm. but we know it's a mixture of corn, rye, and malted barley. Mm -hmm. um, the price ranges between forty and seventy dollars. I believe we paid around sixty dollars. This is a store pick, mm -hmm. um, and so of course, you know, yours would you know fluctuate just depends on your location. Mm -hmm. um, so 18th Street D Distillery also they produce gin, rum, whiskey, rye, vodka. Beer, I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> they have it all. Yeah. So if you're in the um, Hammond, Indiana location or area, um, look them up, check them out. It's definitely on our to-do list. Mm -hmm. we, we definitely want to, you know, stop by, do a tour if they have tours. I mean, you know, things are kind of, you know, kooky right now. Um, so if we can do a tour, we'll try to do a tour or just, you know, sit at the bar and, and check it out and maybe we'll go live. Right. I don't know. We'll have to see, you know, what the setup is, but, um, I think they also have a restaurant so, you know, we can eat and, you know, drink and just, you know, make a day out of it. So 18th yeah. street distillery. Yeah. Very good stuff. Very good. All right. So the next one that I have is resilient. They are, um, they bottle their stuff in Kentucky, but they source bourbon from different locations. This one is a 16 year bourbon that's been sourced from Tennessee. So I'm assuming it's uh, George Dickel. The price is a little bit more expensive. It's a 16 year old source bourbon, so it's around $100. But the prices of their bourbons vary depending on which one it is. Um, <clears throat> but again, transparency the mash bill on this one is 84 percent corn eight percent rye and eight percent malted barley this one specifically has a uh, proof is 125 proof very good very very good and they also have uh, bourbon that they source from MGP and other uh, various finished bourbons. So you should see, I've, I've been seeing a lot more of the resilient in the stores. If you see it and if you get a chance to check out this higher age bourbon, higher proof, good stuff. Very, very good. Jason will get people in trouble buying $100 bottles. <laughs> <laughs> That's our only one. Our only one. <laughs> Don't be hiding it like Jason. Oh, boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so the next bottle I have is Stellum. Mm -hmm. um, Stellum is a combination of bourbon uh, from Indiana, MGP, and Tennessee Dickel. Mm -hmm. um, and in Kentucky, let me not forget Kentucky now. <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot it. Um, created by Barrel Craft Spirits. Um, this it was first released in 2021, mm -hmm. and this one is 121.24 proof. Right, <laughs> 24, not 24, but 24. <laughs> um, and it's a calf strength straight bourbon whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, the mash bill on this one is also unknown. I think Jason took all <laughs> the ones that actually gave you the mash bill, but that's okay. But the, the mash bill is unknown. Um, the price is around $55. Um, and then they also just recently released the Stellum Black 
and it runs around a hundred dollars yeah i'm trying to learn a little bit more about that one i did see it in the store i didn't pick it up because i wanted to learn more before i buy that hundred dollar bourbon bottle. okay <laughs> so you know this one's about gone but you know jason did share it with some friends mm -hmm. which you know that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> um and that's what i have in my glass this evening all right stellum stellum all right so my last the last one we have is woodenville so shout out to a subscriber a follower of our channel joseph brazu hopefully i pronounced that correct joe um but joe found us when we were on the live stream with mash and drum and he sent us a message via instagram and said hey send me your address i'm going to send you something and joe was kind enough to send us a bottle of Woodenville. And Joe, we've enjoyed it. I know it was taking us a little bit longer to provide a review on it, <laughs> but it's a great bourbon that you all have to check out. Woodenville is based out of Washington State. They actually were founded by two friends, Orlin Sorensen and Brett Carlisle. The good thing, or I won't necessarily, well, the unique thing about <laughs> Woodenville is that they actually have someone mentoring them who was the former master distiller at Maker's Mark. His name is David Pickerell. So David is mentoring them and showing them the ropes and it's apparent with the product that we have here. $40 for a 90 proof bourbon. They also have other bourbons. They have, well, they actually have other um, expressions. They have a rye, they have a port finish, and they have a cash strength bourbon, mm -hmm. which I think it's a distillery only, but I've been looking around because I really want to check that one out as well. Uh, they have a unique barreling, barreling process. Uh, where they want their barrels to experience all the different parts of um, like the elements. The elements, yeah. exactly. Thank you. The, <laughs> the elements. And so what this does is they say it helps reduce the tannins in the oak barrels. And so they do that and then they begin the bourbon making process. But this bourbon right here, Woodenville, I think this may be a little bit more popular than the other brands that we've talked about, but we felt it was definitely one of those that if you haven't tried it, check it out. So that is our list of, you know, six bourbon brands that may not be as popular as the uh, larger brands, but definitely worth checking out. And again, tell us which brands you all have experienced and you would definitely recommend because we would like to try them out as well yep exactly all, <laughs> jason is always bourbon hunting so. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we have some other ones that we're starting to dig into but we've really experienced these and we want to provide those so maybe you know maybe we'll have a part two part two <laughs> <laughs> Well, once again, thanks again for all of the support you've shown our channel. We really appreciate it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Cheers.